Yes. Um, and they do it differently. So you can either invest in the actual property um, or you can invest in the company that's raising money for those properties. So there's Fundrise, there's um, Module Shares. A lot of them though, depends on the investors, but a lot of them want accredited investors. There are some that will take on um, um, non-accredited investors like buy, back the, buy the Block. Buy the Block is one. Um, and yeah. Fundrise is one, I think, too. But it's, most of them require accredited investors because they are trying to buy, you know, buildings that are millions of dollars and they don't want to do the 500 minimum, et cetera. So, so, and a lot of times those campaigns, you the minimum is 1,000 or 1,500 or something like that. What were you gonna say? So with, with accredited investors, then, yeah. you go through the SEC to get accredited? No. No. So the the SEC tells you what an accredited investor is, but you go through the platform to prove that you're an accredited investor. Oh, okay. yeah. So the plat yeah, you apply through them. They ask for um, so it depends on the platform. Sometimes they ask for your income taxes to show that you've actually made that amount of money in the last two years or something like that. So you go through the platform. The platform is required to keep that information. That's their way of their level of due diligence they have to do to make sure the investors that are on their platform are supposed to be there. And are these platforms allowed to, I guess, advertise or anything? Yes, because, yeah, they can. Okay. They so just they can't money. tell you what to invest in, but okay. they can tell you this is what we got. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Thank you. Okay.